Welcome to another parent teacher video lesson from the earlygiftedmanual.com, a free website for homeschooled children three to seven years old and their parents that promotes and develops giftedness at an early age. I am Gary Blank, the creator of that site and your host and facilitator for this video and all of the videos in my educational program. As the video lessons are designed to work in conjunction with the program on my website, I ask you to, at some point, click on the URL link in the description box below, and this action will take you to the earlygiftedmanual.com. By doing that, you will be able to put this lesson and all of the video lessons here on my channel in the proper context of the total program that I am presenting to you and your child. Welcome everyone to lesson 26, addition to 10, and uh, we will do three lessons of addition to 10. There's really a lot to cover there. Uh, the materials for this lesson, you will need a whiteboard or a pencil and paper, and that depends on your preferred uh, method of teaching. Uh, counters, as you can see, I have a some counters here and uh, for this lesson I'm using um, the one inch color tiles in yellow. I have 10 of them here. Uh, you can use anything you want of course for counters. We've talked about that. I made up uh, two cards here. This is the plus sign and the equal sign. We'll be using those in a little while. So those are the supplies you will need for this lesson. All right. Um, I think the best place to start this lesson is you can make the statement to your child, numbers stand for something. And what do I mean by that? Well, just a number on its own, whether it be two, three, four, or whatever, is essentially meaningless uh, just as, as the uh, manifestation of the number. But what it does is it always stands for a quantity of something. So numbers stand for something you might want to say numbers represent something and what they represent is a a quantity of something and uh, behind numbers especially when we get to uh, addition subtraction multiplication division uh, there's always a number story behind numbers so let me give you an example and you could give an example like this to your child you could say I ate three crackers for my snack and my friend Chris gave me two more crackers and I ate those. How many crackers did I eat all together? Or you might want to say how many total crackers did I eat? And you could point out to your child that this is what we call an addition problem. Um, it's a number story and we're trying to uh, solve a problem where we, we need to add these two quantities together to find out how many how many crackers I ate in total and uh, how do you solve the problem well uh, you tell your child that you express it in number language and of course you, you know by this point uh, your child is probably writing already and, and understands the alphabet and the English language language and perhaps the concept of a sentence, well, you can tell her that uh, you can write out this problem in a number sentence, and then you can find the answer. And uh, let's do it for this particular number story that I just uh, um, told. So I'm going to write three plus two equals, and I'm gonna leave that blank there. So uh, I just read it to you, and you will want to explain what all of this means to your child, and, and explain to them that it in fact is representing the story you just uh, told. So let's just uh, read the sentence here, three, plus, and you can tell your child plus means that you're adding these two numbers together. You're taking three and you're adding two more. And 
your child has already seen the equal sign, it can mean the same as. Uh, so you could read it, 3 plus 2 is the same as, and then what? The answer will be over here. Sometimes, uh, you know, you can make a little box here to, to, uh, as a space for the answer or a line underneath, or just leave it blank. It's up to you, uh, however you want to do that. So, uh, this, uh, you can tell your child this is called an equation because it has an equal sign in it. So, um, the way uh, that he or she would want to read this is 3 plus 2 equals how many? So, uh, there it is, uh, his or her first equation. Uh, let's do another number story here just to uh, solidify this concept. Let's see. Let's say that uh, I looked out my window at the telephone line and there were, were five crows perched on the telephone line. And then uh, while I was looking at them, four more crows flew in and perched on the telephone line. How many crows were now perched on the telephone line all together? In other words, what are the total amount of crows on the telephone line. And of course, uh, there's a lots of new vocabulary here. Uh, um, equals, plus, uh, total, all together. So, of course, you want to uh, um, emphasize those points. And, of course, uh, that number story I just said to you would look like this. Five plus four equals how many? So that's uh, what I call the concept of number stories. And uh, to reiterate, numbers stand for something. Numbers always represent something, unless, of course, uh, you, your child is just doing a practice page of computations. But ultimately, numbers are representational. They, they stand for a quantity of something. Very important uh, a notion to uh, transmit to your child. So now I'd like to uh, show you how to teach your child to uh, solve uh, one of these uh, uh, addition equations uh, by using counters. And as you can see, here's the counters we're using. I described those at the beginning of the lesson. And uh, our cards are, are plus and equal cards. And I'm going to tell a little number story. And of course, you can make up a number story to tell to your child. And then you could help her to set up the equation, which is, of course, is the number sentence that, that is shorthand for the longer story and of course uh, give her all the help she needs doing this. So, uh, let's see, here's, here's a number story. Sophia had four Bakugan trading cards and her friend Spencer gave her three more. What a nice guy. So, how many trading cards does Sophia now have all together or how many total uh, trading cards does Sophia have? So um, I think the first thing you need to do or your child needs to do or both of you together need to do is write out the equation. So Sophia had four Bakugan trading cards and her friend Spencer gave her three more how many trading cards did she now have in all? How many all together? So uh, once uh, the two of you get the equation, you can you could have her read it out. Four plus three equals, and we're just going to say for now, uh, we'll find out here. We'll write the answer here in this space equals how many? All right. So here's how we're going to do this using the counters. So we're going to do what uh, the problem tells us to do. We need four counters. T 
two, three, four, and then it says, and we need to add three more. So there's our plus sign. And then we need to add one, two, three more. And that will equal, well, I guess we need to find that out, right? So here's how you would do it. Okay, since we're adding these together, um, we want to add this group to this group, right? That's what the problem tells us. Sophia had four Bakugan trading cards. Her friend Spencer gave her three more. And of course, obviously, these counters are representing the Bakugan trading cards. It's important your, your child knows that. Don't take that for granted. And uh, so we need to add these two groups together. And it's very simply done like this. Uh, but before I do that, make sure that your child uh, counts these out uh, uh, as she puts them and put, uh, as she takes them out of the bank and puts them on the table. She counts them one at a time to make sure the right amount is out there. And as you can see, they're in a line, and that's important. So let's add these two groups together, and that's very easy to do. We're going to drop this out of here, and let's put them together because that's what we're doing. We're adding them, right? And now it becomes simply just a, a counting exercise. So let's see how many Sophia now had all together. How many Bakugan cards? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So now your, uh, your child can put the answer into this addition equation, and there it is. Four plus three equals seven. And of course, uh, you can do several of these uh, with him or her. Uh, you can't get too much practice, and you can just keep doing them until you're sure that uh, he's very solid in what he's doing and he understands the process, and uh, then, then uh, you can move on to maybe a greater abstraction, and we'll do that into the, in the, the next lesson. That's a little teaser for you. So uh, once again, um, do a few of these. Make up some number stories, uh, get some counters, and do several of these together. And, uh, and it won't take very long. Your child will, will master this probably very quickly. All right. Uh, if you want uh, some additional practice sheets, uh, addition practice sheets so you can practice this whole process, uh, just go to the Early Gifted Manual and go to this lesson, which is Lesson 26, and you will uh, find a reference there to a practice sheet for this activity.